gogwe north idun raka oma rine average rainfall ye around 450 mils pa gore saka kana tichiri mambeu dzese zvakaita zvana chibage dzoda mvura yakati wandi iri kuma 600 and above saka taita problem yekuti first half kubva pantanga rain season kuti december mvura ino kwanza kuwanda kana kuita shoma second half we shaya mvura saka ipapo ndopati ozoti isusu kuri makwacho kubva katoti gochera the climate is changing in zimbabwe droughts are becoming more frequent Temperatures are increasing and climate projections suggest this is going to continue. By 2050, there will be an extra 7 million people in Zimbabwe who will need to be fed. However, good progress is being made. The Stress Tolerant Maize for Africa project, funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, is one such initiative. Takapina mchirongwa ichi tawa nzuko kutikune mbeu iye chibagi. Pambeu izo zupaya ni mbeu ya kanga ya singa tetu zubasi zeo njumbe edu ino iye gokwe nothi. Njumbe ino pisa. Na kutuma nguma korezi mbeu zedu zaitwa. Asi mbeu iyo yoyo taka wanoti mbeu ya katina gira muno mgokwe nothi. The International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, CIMIT, has spent the past decade modernizing maize breeding in Africa to quickly develop new varieties for stress-prone environments. CIMIT is uh, developing maize varieties that are adapted to smallholder farmer conditions, particularly if the rainfall situation is not good, and also with the rising temperatures, the maize varieties that we are producing will be able to produce uh, reasonable yields uh, under increased temperatures. The improved maize varieties are expected to offer up to 30% greater yields for farmers facing extreme weather events such as drought. Helping smallholder farmers like Tariro fight climate change while increasing the health of their families is a challenge. But applying modern breeding methods will allow the farmers to have seed varieties that offer a range of benefits.